Clearly we're seeing a little bit of an extension on some of these um, you know, significant moves that, that, are, that are going on in FX markets, especially as it applies to uh, yen depreciation. And it adds a level of uncertainty as well as basically um, unpredictability to, to, to the dynamic now because, I mean, despite what perhaps the Ministry of Finance has been telling us over the last couple of days that these moves are largely speculative in nature, really they're, they're driven very heavily by, by economic, uh, macroeconomic uh, fundamentals and, and policy fundamentals. And the fin Ministry of Finance today has, has clearly expressed its desire for a far more uh, stable, largely uh, lower yen, uh, which could again uh, add a, a level of unpredictability into the mix. So that US inflation data is really going to sort of guide everything um, ultimately. Um, but now this adds a, an extra dynamic for FX traders to try and to take into consideration, especially when you are looking at yen pairs as well as obviously the, the, the Nikkei, uh, Nikkei, which continues to, to benefit from the depreciation in the yen. Exactly. Well, obviously, it is a pretty special week, and it's a holiday Friday in most markets, so it's going to be a little more volatile than usual, as you said. But what would the Ministry of Finance tolerate, and what will markets try to make happen between now and next week? Is it a possibility that markets could force an intervention? Well, potentially, I mean, from my position, you just keep your ear very, very close to the ground because obviously you wait for the price action and it's normally after the fact, unless you're obviously very, very close to the situation that, you know, you get a good sense of whether there's been any intervention or, or there might be some kind of looming intervention. But, I mean, the problem here is that effectively, and, and as I said before, um, and despite what the uh, Ministry of Finance has said, is that this is totally indicative of fundamentals. Um, it probably, um, you know, also reflects the fact that, you know, the BOJ has really had its hand forced to some extent to tighten policy because you can only imagine the kind of uh, sell-off we would have seen in the end had they not uh, tightened policy last week even though it was you know perhaps uh, up to conjecture whether they would do it or not or whether they should have done it at all that the problem is now and I think ultimately despite the fact that the, the, the Ministry of Finance is talking tough is that because macroeconomic fundamentals and uh, policy fundamentals are really working in the direction of a weak yen ultimately what they can only really do is lean against these fundamentals and lean against uh, a depreciation in the yen which is effectively to say to try and cause as minimal volatility in the market and as few painful um, uh, adjustments to the economy as well as to, to financial uh, stability uh, as, as possible, minimise that as much as possible uh, to make sure that the costs are contained. So uh, again, for someone like me in my position, it, it really is a matter of keeping your ear to the ground and being very wary of the volatility risks. Uh, but ultimately, what the, the, the name of the game here is that if those fundamentals remain in place, it is leading to a depreciation, depreciating yen to, the, the, for the finance ministry, it's to limit the, the the risks, the downside risks to the economy and financial markets from this unfolding trend.